we're going to apologize for butchering a name because we have asked for help and none has been forthcoming. So, will Rafi and Rodi please come to their majesty? Yo, to Topher. <laughs> we apologize. You should have chosen your name. <laughs> and how do we pronounce your name? Torf and Rock. Torf and Rock. Yeah, out of out of blood now. Yeah, it doesn't spell like that. Well, yeah. Anyway. Excuse us for a little fun at your expense. So many people have written us so many letters to tell us how much you did. That's the hard part. You are always there. You are always important. Brie, help me. I mean, his, his work in me. No, better yet, cordial help me. <laughs> Eliminate this gentleman's contribution for the pot. <laughs> also known as Topher. Also known as Topher. He's been playing for six, seven years? Eight now. Eight years this man has been a part of our Shire. Eight years he's been coming out to fighter practices. He's been coming out to work weeks. Anything he can possibly do, he's been a part of uh, when available. I understand he even hosts practices. He did. He's working he on having he's a also, second practice so that there's another option for people. He's also a people. deputy marshal. Right. He's, office soon and he's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> you managed to do that for eight years, and hopefully we will be able to keep him for a lot longer. The work you do is invaluable to not only your local shire and its population, but the kingdom and the SCA as a whole. It is unconscionable, His Majesty, that it's taken this long. Possibly it is because nobody can pronounce your name. <laughs> <laughs> For us to award you. Woo! We would reward such service with an award of arms, conferring all the rights and, char and charging all the responsibilities for training thereto. We further charge you to consult with our heralds to determine unique and suitable arms. And a pronounceable name. <laughs> By our hand, this day, uh, this 12th day of August, AS 52B, 2017, Bryce and Rhiannon. Yeah, sticky notes. They're a necessity when you're on the phone. <laughs> this was calligraphed and illuminated by our excellency cat Cornwall. <laughs>
wouldn't be right for me to read it in their majesty's names, but everybody knows what this signifies. This has belonged on your wall for a very long time. And I'm glad with your lady wife's help and lady justice's help to be able to, to be the one that sees it. It's my pleasure. Give that to her because she'll break. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Summon now into this court, Enar Kinkter. Did you read Knitter? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's how it reads. <laughs> Please. We have been trying to catch up with you for quite some time. Really? Not at all. <laughs> we can't ever, everybody can't be everywhere. But apparently in your local group, <coughs> you pretty much are. <laughs> you succeed. We have been literally bombarded with letters from grateful members of your local group and surrounding groups to tell us of all the good works you do in your area. The offices you hold, the work you put forward to make it new come helping anyone with any need in any way you can. And it is long past time that you will recognize with an award of arms done this by our hand this 12th day of August and on Secretarius 52. Another beautiful scroll by Lady Jessica Boss. <laughs> So I'm going to walk out here because I'm a bard and a, and a ham and, and a herald. And I wanted to give some people some background for those of you that don't know about this event. And people say, why the heck did I come all the way from the blazing heat of Aitonville to the sticky heat of Meridies for this event? Well, this is the 10th anniversary of this event. And... And I hate, I don't say hate, it, saying that it was founded, I, I feel like that, that puts it all on me. I didn't, wasn't the only person running this. I just put it together. I had a good staff with any auto, good autocrat. Did. It's not about one individual, it's about a lot of people putting it together. Um, and I think we had about 100 people the first time. Um, Liana was our gate, our exchequer and troll at the time. Um, second year of this event was the first time the Crown had visited this Shire in, I believe it had been a good eight years. Um, and it was also the event where Sir Thomas got his AOA. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of history to this, and I've been watching from afar, and I've been very, very thrilled when I see how it's grown, how the Shire has grown, because it almost went away at the time. Uh, it's exploded in people. I'm just, you know, it was, it's pretty impressive when I see just the numbers. Um, and because of that, I've got a little presentation for the Shire. Um, could you call 
support the members of the Shire. Will the Shire of Phoenix Glade please come forward? <laughs> Everybody in our shire was an active person with a job because you know, <laughs> they were just that's not enough people otherwise. Um, so, okay. and for those that don't know, when with the ANS yeah. uh, classes were held, we started that room that was the whole and event. it was a one day event. <laughs> yeah. So with that, we have something for you. You guys bear with you, there's quite a bit here. <laughs> On behalf of their royal majesties of the solar kingdom of Edenbelt, we, Jacqueline and Joffrey, Baroness and Baron of Sun Dragon, offer warm greetings to the Shire of Phoenix Glade and the kingdom of Meridiates. The barony of Sun Dragon values service and chivalry above all things. The Shire of Phoenix Glade has since its founding been a beacon of those values and has always been welcoming to encouraging of newcomers and visitors. As former members of the Phoenix Glade, we have been well pleased with the accomplishments of the Phoenix Glade populace and of their warm reception of all who visit their lands. As such, we hereby recognize Phoenix Glade as our honorary adopted shire and declare all of its populace under our protection should they visit our great kingdom. We further declare that all members of Phoenix Glade are welcomed by our fire and will be afforded all considerations as our honored guests in the event they visit our lands. Done by our hands this 12th day of August and a Societas 52 being 2017 in the Common Era. Jacqueline Baroness, Joffrey Barron. by Lady Candace de Libel. And the, the, and the glass was cracked by the queen. <laughs> 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 the I know, right? Did everybody have fun? Yeah! Oh. And you did it right. <laughs> yeah! Congratulations. <laughs> 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 Someone now into her presence. Karina Osprey Gina.
but it wasn't necessary because we had seen it with our own eyes. And we are very honored at this time to recognize you with an award of honor. <laughs> have considerably enriched our kingdom. It is our pleasure to award you with an award of arms. At this time, we confer the rights and responsibilities of this rank. We charge you to consult with our herald to determine unique and suitable arms by our hands this 12th day of August, AS 52, being 2017. Bryce and Rhiannon. Another beautiful scroll by Lady Jessica of Oxford. <laughs> And Patriona. And Patriona. Oh, and illuminated by an illumination by Catriona the Black. Consult yourself on your Yeah, there you go. Because you got a new job. I almost put that in, honestly. <laughs> well, and that would have been fine. We trust you implicitly. Just do what you got. Yeah, you keep passing the fuck. That's what you're saying. Uh, you brought to my attention that apparently there's some business that we can help. Yeah, the uh, the Meridian Order of the Blade. We have some uh, business we'd like to do. If uh, if I can call them up, please call me. The uh, Meridian of the Blade in attendance can come up, please. There is a, there's somebody. Share, share with the populace a little bit about what the Meridian or the Blade is, for those who are unaware. So we are the grant level award for rapier uh, and meridies. Basically the, uh, you're lost. I've never seen a rapier fighter lost. <laughs> I didn't think of this part. You didn't think of this part. I'm sure. I have the next know. part. The next part. Okay. The next so, part. You, so you got the next part for it. You can launch the next part. <laughs> there is a. There's someone here that. You want to shoot? Can I go with you? Yeah, well, I don't know. I want to come with you and say something. Yeah. There's someone here that has been instrumental in the rapier community uh, for a while now. Not only that, in the, in the cut and thrust community as well. Um, He's also been a wonderful bridge between the rapier and heavy fighters of our kingdom. Uh, on top of all that, he was also one of the first two people to get the new award at last year's goal for the Stallion Blood. I think he's here. Do you guys can, you might not get in for me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Let <laughs> all know by this commission that Matthew McDear shall be recognized for the brave service, skill, instruction, and excellency in the art of defense. Accordingly, it is the crown's wish to induct him into the Meridian Order of the Blade the 12th day of August, AS 52, Bryce and Rhiannon. and I are very honored to be able to do this. As Nick said, you have been a wonderful bridge between the chivalric and rapier community. You have helped to make both armies stronger. And with both armies stronger, our kingdom is only better served. This beautiful scroll, the elimination, was done by Catriona the Blind. The calligraphy by Lady Jessica of Osprey.